Yeah, I don't have anything even remotely Guardians of the Galaxy looking in my closet, so I'm just throwing in the towel on the whole color coordination thing. Anyway, review. Greetings, Code Monkeys, and welcome back to Superhero Month. Guardians of the Galaxy is kind of a surprise hit because people didn't really know what to expect from it. It's an extremely different sort of take on a superhero movie. If it isn't obvious by now, I tend to prefer the deeper and more subtle aspects of the Marvel Cinematic Universe over the big action-y type of stuff. And subtle isn't exactly the first word that comes to mind when you think of Guardians of the Galaxy, but it really is quite subtle, at least in the areas that really matter. And unlike the Thor franchise, which plays its cosmic weirdness fairly straight, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy movies don't take themselves too seriously, uh, which I think is what a lot of people like about them. The first Guardians of the Galaxy movie was really a breath of fresh air that the MCU needed at that point because the Marvel Cinematic Universe had started to feel kind of safe and formulaic by that time, um, and the Guardians of the Galaxy really mixed it up. The casting is totally spot on. Chris Pratt was a great Star-Lord, uh, really just nails this whole idea of this guy who so desperately wants to be, you know, a cool space badass kind of guy, but just doesn't really pull it off. Zoe Saldana has a really commanding and intimidating presence as Gamora. Dave Bautista is absolutely hilarious as Drax. And of course Vin Diesel is right at home in the role of Groot, but I think the real surprise revelation in the casting was Bradley Cooper as Rocket Raccoon. I've never really liked Bradley Cooper much, and I've never really thought much of any Bradley Cooper performance before. Uh, but he really brings something special to Rocket. You get these little flashes of humanity and these tiny moments where the veil kind of falls away, um, and it makes his character really interesting. The movie's main issue is the really forgettable villain. Uh, Ronan the Accuser is uh, not a terribly interesting bad guy to watch. His motivations and even his plan are sort of unclear, or at least not very well explained, but honestly the main cast and the rest of the movie are so engaging that it's kind of hard to care. As for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, uh, yeah, that was another really big surprise. Because instead of doubling down on the action-y cosmic insanity that is inherent to the franchise, uh, it opts to go for a more intimate and personal character piece, which I think is probably the best thing that this franchise could have done to stay feeling fresh. All of the main cast gets really great development in this movie, uh, but the real surprise is Karen Gillan as Nebula. She turns out to have a surprising amount of depth behind her actions and her motivations. In particular, her relationship with Gamora is explored. Uh, a lot of it's sort of subtextual and in the background. There aren't really that many moments where it actually enters the text of the movie. Uh, but it's it's really, really great. The villain is also a lot more interesting this time around, even if his motivation does end up being a little on the lame side. There's nothing essentially wrong with it. Uh, it's the kind of motivation that, you know, we, we've seen it before, but it is well executed. Still, Kurt Russell is a lot of fun, and he has a lot of really great on-screen chemistry with Chris Pratt. And I don't want to say too much about this, but there is uh, a fairly major death in this movie, and it it really has a lot of dramatic weight to it. Like, it, you really you really feel something when it happens. I'm trying to keep things uh, a lot more vague in this video than I did in the other reviews that I've done this month, uh, mainly because Guardians of the Galaxy is one of those kinds of things that's best experienced as blind as possible. You don't want to go into this movie with a whole lot of preconceived notions. I say this movie, I mean these two movies. To me, Guardians of the Galaxy is worth owning, and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 
yes, is the other movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe to which I would give the ultimate recommendation. The series is just a ton of fun to watch, but beyond that, it manages to balance an irreverent tone with an unexpectedly deep and moving story. Behind all the wackiness and explosions, Guardians of the Galaxy is a story about a group of fundamentally broken people who are just trying to figure out how to keep going on. I love the series. It's pretty much neck and neck with Captain America in terms of my favorite series in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it is well worth your time. Please, give it a go. And that is it for the reviews. We are now officially all caught up on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I will endeavor to stay caught up as more and more of these movies come out. But of course, we are not done yet. On the 31st, I am going to be releasing the Q&A, so Look forward to that. Hope you'll come back for it. And until next time, Code Monkeys, I will see you later.